Let's take a closer look at your copy features. Touch the copy menu. You can load your originals in the feeder. When the green light goes on, the machine knows it's going to pull documents from the feeder. If your documents are letter size or legal size, the machine will detect it automatically. You also have the option of loading documents on the glass one at a time. Line it up at the corner that you see on the, uh, on the copy of frame right there. And as you scroll down through the list, you'll see one and two sided. Two to one, for example, is an option that you have. If you have a two sided original, you wanna make one sided copies. If you touch more, you have the option to do rotate side two, which means that when the copy comes out, the machine will flip the copy in the reverse orientation on the second side. All right. Your uh, paper supply is gonna be automatic uh, for any tray with plain white paper that matches the document size, or you can choose the tray by uh, selecting from the list of trays. You reduce enlarge is the next one down. You can type in the uh, percentage that you need, or if you touch auto percent and you're using a standard size paper, the machine will automatically calculate the percentage that you need depending on the paper tray that you've selected. And then as you go further down, you have, for example, text mode, photo mode. If you want a better quality on pictures, choose photo mode. And these settings apply to faxing and scanning as well. Your lighter and darker is right here. And your original orientation just, uh, sorry, simply determines which edge of the page will be the top, uh, the long edge or the short edge. Your original size menu is meant if you, for uh, mixed size originals, which means, for example, if I choose mixed size originals, that allows me to feed letter and legal pages through the feeder at the same time. Another option you have is called custom or presets. Sometimes custom or presets is useful when you have a document which the machine can identify because it doesn't know which paper size to use. You can tell the machine which paper size you want to use or you can manually enter the dimensions of the document that you're scanning like this. 0 0.0, 3.5. When you specify the dimensions of what you're scanning off the glass, you can leave the top open because the machine is only going to scan that exact area. But let's say we're just doing a good old standard 8.5 by 11. Normally you do not have to choose original size. It is automatically detected by the machine. So once you have your uh, features that you want to use set, you type in how many copies you want and hit the start, the start icon in the upper right corner of the screen. If you want to check the status of your job, you can expand uh, the status by going to the home page, touch jobs, and it will show you how many pages are being processed, etc. Okay, I'm doing two sets in this case, and then all the copies come out down here. If you scroll to the bottom of your list, you'll see there's a reset button. And every menu also has a customize option. All the menus on the VersaLink are customizable, so you can add more features or take away features from the displayed list if you want to. Just touch Feature List, and you can see all the other settings that you could add to this menu. Sharpness adjustment, for example. You have an option called Edge Erase, which enables you to delete up to two inches off any margin on the page. Uh, Image shift, it gives you a way of moving the copy around on the paper. And here's one that I do think is quite useful. It's called sample copy. So if I unhide that and press done, it's now added to the list of features. And when you select sample copy, what the machine will do, let's say I need 50 copies. But if the sample copy is activated, the machine will stop after the first copy is printed and ask you if you want to print some more.